Welcome to Lesson 3 of our short video series on how to program your new GT5 3-axis gyro. This series of videos will take you from the basic setup of your GT5 to your first flight with this gyro. Let's take a look at how to get power to your GT5 3-axis gyro. If you are using either Futaba S-Bus or a DSM-2 system, your GT5 now should still have three ports available. IMP2 and Term IMP1 Please plug the power supply wire to either the IMP1 or IMP2 port. If you are using a standard receiver, plug the battery or BEC cables to the battery port of your receiver. That's all there is to it.